Fuck it, I am. <laughs> This is Sumela Vay checking in with you once again, and this time we're going to be talking about happiness. What does it mean? What does it stand for? How do we sustain it over a long period of time? Because happiness can be fleeting, you know? We can have fleeting moments of happiness, but what exactly does it mean? And so, the dictionary definition of happiness is either a pleasurable or satisfying experience, or a state of well-being and contentment. Now let's really analyze that. What does that mean? A state, right? We have to get into this mode, this flow of happiness. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. So, when you want to think of happiness, you want to think of what does that mean? Because oftentimes we're brainwashed by media or what we're seeing and hearing around us into thinking that will make me happy. Or we think of it in the long term, like, oh, I'm going to go on vacation and then I'll be happy. Or I'm going to get this one thing that I want to strive for and then I will achieve ultimate happiness. But that's not really how it works. It's more about when you forget about the pursuit of happiness, you sometimes realize that that itself makes you kind of happy. Because our own state of being is actually what makes us happy at times. So just forgetting about time, forgetting about all these attachments sometimes also helps you realize that my natural state of being is happiness. And just realizing that, you know. Another thing is we can't be attached to the past so much. And we can't be so caught up in what we did. We have to, rather we have to focus on the now, the present moment. What are we going to do right now? So we have to be aware of our past selves and how we want to focus on our present selves at this very moment. How are you treating your body? You know, what are you putting into your body? What are you, you know, what kind of movies are you watching? What kind of podcasts are you listening to? What kind of books are you reading? Are you growing? So we have to have a sense of purpose and a state of kind of like we want to get somewhere because we as humans, we always want more. What did the richest man in the world want? He wanted to still, just a little bit more, you know? And so that kind of hedonic treadmill is not really a healthy way to go. We have to try and find ways to just come up with a, multiple goals and just keep on scratching them off the list. But one of the most common reasons for unhappiness is this longing for something, you know, this longing that you'll never get this one thing. So you have to have a state of kind of just progressively becoming better day by day, telling yourself that you will write the things down that you want to do, write the goals down, and actually just start checking them off. I know it sounds like, like boring or whatever, but just like try and do it, and it really just helps you. And day by day, you'll see yourself just improving and gaining momentum, gaining social momentum, and you'll get, you'll be affecting others around you too and rise them up along with you because we shouldn't see ourselves in comparison to other people. We can't be like, look at this guy, he has achieved so much more than me because that only falters our own self because no, no two people are the same. We're brought up in different cultural contexts. We're, we have different backgrounds and situations which we were born with. We have different temperaments. But you know, we all have, we all have a potential to be happy because that is our natural state. So you just have to embrace that. You just have to feel more free and willing to express yourself and not be so caught up in your head. And that really helps in terms of doing creative things like dance, movement, kind of like exercise, these things increase happiness because you're putting more of the focus in your body. And so that's what I want you guys to really focus on is like how you can get that flow state. What thing can you do right now that will make you super happy and not 
in terms of the future. We are part of a mental game, a mental prism, and we have to find ways to manipulate our senses in order to make the most out of the situations that we are in. Because we are human beings. We are reptiles. We have higher consciousness and higher ways of being. We can use our imagination. We can use our imaginations and our creativity. And we can try and make things. We can make things with our hands. And when we do, we feel this incredible sense of focus and direction. And we want other people to join in. You know? We want other people to kind of, so we want to support others. And when we do, when we really give, we start giving, we get into that mind frame of that, I have value to give to you. Then you will slowly start seeing that your happiness is automatically just increasing. That is your automatic state of being, just giving. Giving even a smile or a wave to someone, that can just totally change someone's day. At the back of our minds, we already know what to do to improve and be happy. But there's something blocking us. So it's up to you to really figure out what is it in yourself that is blocking you and just like willing to go into that and just like correct it. Because we, we know in the back of our minds by meditation, by just yoga, by all these things, we, we're going internally. We're not looking at little objects to fulfill us, right? Even though, I mean, some people are obviously, some people want that one car and then that's all they focus on. But when we look inward, we have to, f we know that we have the answers. Like, we, we want to be kind to others, we want to support each other, we want to, you know, we want to make an impact on this world, we want to bring everyone up together. Like, we know these things consciously, like, we need to brush our teeth, we need to watch our hygiene, we need to make money. Like, we consciously know all these things, but we can't get ourselves to actually do it. And, like, I think fear and laziness are two things that are kind of holding us back, you know? And so, in order to get rid of that, we kind of have to focus on the other side of the spectrum, on things like the opposite of fear and laziness. Things like determination and inspiration and, you know, um, love, pure love, unconditional love for yourself. Uh, Self-love, not in a narcissistic way, but a kind of looking at yourself and seeing, well, yeah, I am a person of value, I have worth, even if I don't, I don't have the money or the looks or whatever it is, uh, superficially to back it up, I still have a value by just being me, by just existing on this earth, because I am a spirit, you know? And that may be a little woo-woo, a little mystical for you, but actually that is, the essence, that is the essence of spirituality. We are going beyond what we comprehend. And that's really, you know, really a good way to focus your energy and just bring yourself forward, man. And so when we're feeling really unhappy, we'll notice that we're focusing way too much on our emotions and not so much on the way we're thinking about our emotions. So cognitively, we don't know what's going on. And so we really, need to analyze ourselves and thinking, what is it that's triggering this sadness in me, you know? It could be a mental problem, but oftentimes when we just put ourselves into these situations, we, we eat a bunch of like junk food and we, we assume that we're gonna feel great the next day, you know? <laughs> but that's really not how it works. And so you can always change the way that you frame or see a situation. Right? If something bad happens to you, you have to take that as a kind of feedback and a learning process. On um, It's life telling you that you need to get out and change something. It's like, it's like you are in this situation because you need to be back to your natural state, your state of happiness. And so what are you going to do in order to get out of this? You have to take leverage and control of your own emotions and your own life. And so I'm telling you to just embrace all of that negativity and whatever is coming at you and then doing something with that. Not just keeping it inside of you and holding it and restricting you back, but instead making like creativity and art or something with that. You know, the, the greatest works of art weren't a result of happiness. You know, it wasn't one guy saying, I'm feeling great, I need to make art right now. That's fantastic. It's, it's always like from a deep 
uh, painful, these painful situations that you're in that really make you grow and push you out of your comfort zone and or embarrassing situations too. And so what we have to do is just be willing to be okay with the discomfort. Be willing to just grow, you know? And when we focus on the growth aspect of it, and when we focus on the fact that we are, we can cognitively change our emotions when we choose to focus on the positive events and not the negative ones. Where we feel the negative ones, but we don't necessarily put our entire focus on it. Then we'll truly realize, like, hey man, like, I'm doing me, I'm doing what I want to do. Like, you have a great sense of freedom and a sense of ease that goes along with that, with saying that. Like, I used to be really sad in the past, but now I realize that it was a result of me not rationally thinking over that, which is going with my emotions and like flailing around. But really, when you focus in on it and when you realize your true potential and your true self, then you can just let it go and be free. And I know that's not easy to just say, just let it go, man. It's not easy to do either, but it comes as a process. It comes by learning and sharing and giving. Are you make a video? Yeah, for what? yeah, I did. Uh, for my YouTube. Oh, okay. What do you mean? What's the video? Uh, happiness. Yeah. Um, what's your name? Sumer. All right, um, can you send me a message on Facebook yeah. at some point? Because I'm this is something I'm also really passionate about. For sure. But I'm in class right now, but I want to talk about it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Be awesome. Be the most of yourself that you can be. Be the most authentic version of yourself that you can be. Because the only thing that's holding you back is yourself. And I know that may be like, oh my god, what are you talking about? What are you? Are you seriously telling me that? Like, who are you to tell me that? Who are, are you? The authority? Are you? Are you the guru who's telling you this? Well, I'm not the guru, man. I've just gone a, through a lot of things that are of benefit to you, and so I'm telling you to just take it step by step, and not like even by rushing into things sometimes we miss out on a lot of calculated moments and steps in our life, you know? And so when we really can take it slow, and when we can push ourselves to do weird things and get ourselves out of our head, it's really just creating reference experiences for us, you know? It's creating these new memories, these new neural pathways for us. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, is that when you just do something out of your own nature, you will realize that maybe Maybe I don't have to be this person. Like when, you, when you're like 12 years old and when you're like being really socially awkward or like sitting by yourself, you can change that with a blink of an eye by just getting up and just taking that first step and just saying anything to the person next to you. And that could be anything. Literally, you can just be like, Ugh. but that's still something, you know? They might think you're weird, but so what? Who cares? It's just that you are giving, you know? You have to have, you don't have to have anything. <laughs> I'm not telling you to do anything. But I'm just telling you that it is a process and it's a step of just like, just trying it out and seeing for yourself, like, is this for me? Is this making me feel awkward? And even if it is making you feel awkward, what can I do with that awkwardness? Maybe even like exaggerate that awkwardness and play it up for yourself so that you yourself can see how ridiculous you look. Like I'm probably going to watch this video and see weird little idiosyncrasies of myself. But that's, that's a part of the learning process. And I'm willing to take that and improve on it. And that's the kind of mindset that we have, that we need to have. You know, that's the kind of mindset that we need to nurture. Sumo. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, okay? Um, I love how you guys leave me comments sometimes and tell me different ways to improve this. I hope this is a better, I'm not trying to be like some kind of a like sleazy marketer or like promoting you some weird product right now. I know I look like that right now, but I'm really not. I mean, this is just for you guys to like benefit from it and just I hope this is information. I know you guys know this information already, but it's just, you know, it's good to have it revolving around your brain a little bit. So, thank you guys.
Step your life game up.